While many people turn to religion to help them cope in the days after the 9-11 attacks, and some even chose new faiths, including Islam. And when you study Islam, even when Islam is taught to you by somebody who hates Islam, as long as they don't corrupt it too far, you can still see the truth in Islam. When people see the truth of Islam, it can change them if they want to be guided. If they want the truth, it can change them. very much impressed by finding true astronomical facts in Quran. Someone, a literate person, making profound pronouncements and statements that um, are amazingly accurate of a scientific nature. And I don't, I personally can't see how this could be a mere chance. There are too many accuracies. Mohammed could not have known these facts about human development in the 7th century because most of them were not discovered until the 20th century. This is a leech and this is the human embryo for 23 days. I think you have to. translation of Song of Songs 516. It finishes the description by saying, He is altogether lovely but what most people don't know, is that the name of that man, was given in the original Medjolet. Mem. Het. Mem. Dalet. Hikko man takkim. Vekhullo Muhammad. Muhammad. Muhammad Din. Now when reading the word as it is written in its original form, with no vowels, it can be read as Muhammad, which is the name of the Muslim prophet, or as Namad with no E after the H. of one of the first Qurans ever translated to English by George Sale. George Sale hated Islam, he hated the Muslims, but when he translated the Quran to English, he was true, he was true to the text of the words. Although maybe not getting all the meaning, he certainly was true to the text of the words. I was shocked when I read it. Have you seen it? You know what I'm talking about? Amazing! I love Islam. Islam is absolutely my life. There's nothing in the world as important to me as Islam. And there is nothing in the world that I am not willing to give up for the sake of Allah, for Islam, and for the Muslims. That's a fact. It's an unquestionable fact. Because Islam is everything to me because I know the power of Islam. I know the power of Allah. I understand Allah's love. I understand His wisdom. I understand His mercy. I understand His justice. And I know there is nothing that is better. And I wish to share this with everyone. Okay. Uh, just repeat 
after me, sister. Okay. I swear. I swear. There's no God to worship. There's no God to worship. Except one God. Except one God. A Allah. Allah. And I swear. I swear. Muhammad is his messenger. Muhammad is the messenger. Allah Akbar. Okay, now the Arabic, if you say it slow after me, it'll be easy for you. Ready? Okay. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An la. An la. Ilaha. 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 Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna Muhammad. Anna Muhammad. Rasulullah. George Bernard Shaw, for instance, is one of many, a long list of people who read this and realized the truth of Islam. When people see the truth of Islam, it can change them if they want to be guided. If they want the truth, it can change them. The first commandment in the Bible in Exodus is the same as the first commandment in the book of Deuteronomy. It says, I'm the Lord your God that brought you out of the land of Egypt in the house of bondage. You know no other God beside me. Beside me there's no other gods. Thou shalt not have any other gods beside me. I was telling you about what happened in Germany. I kept saying, who's next? Who's next? And they would, when we were finished, they would say, okay, let's go. I said, no, no, ask who's next. Finally, because almost everybody there is not Muslim, I said, who in the audience would like to be a Muslim? And they all stood up. 1,250 people took shahada all at the same time. Allahu Akbar. And then, in English, there is no God, but God. but God. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the messenger of God. Is the messenger of God. And her conversion ceremony is complete. She's now a Muslim. My initial attractions to Islam were, were, uh, for instance, the, the sense of, of the brotherhood of humanity. You know, of course, in the United States, we have a long tradition of the kind of racial separation and segregation, uh, which nowadays is kind of uh, dissolved for a number of reasons. But uh, I find that uh, that when I met Muslims and later when I traveled to the Muslim world, this absolute. Uh, uh, disregard for the, the outward features of human beings, whether it be their color or, or whatnot, and that, that, that mankind is, was actually united together uh, under a single religion.
And now when I when I when I read the Quran, it's not the same eyes that I read 25 years ago. It's it's this endless sea of meaning, this answer for for everything. And this really amazes me and keeps my I guess my himma, my kind of zeal, uh, going and whatnot. So. That that question has changed as as I'm changing, and I, inshallah, I imagine in the future it may may change and evolve as well. drinking I was doing all of the things like typically an American would do uh, my work was in nightclubs uh, photographing there was a lot of things that I was going through that were just not with God and I needed something to change I went to my mom and I told her that I was studying Islam before I converted but one good thing is that she was watching me go through the changes she saw me before and how my life was and then she saw me after changing she saw me dressing differently she saw me stopping all of the haram things that I was doing and uh, she realized like that when I converted to Islam I was closer to God and that's what made her happy you know if that's what brought me closer to God then she was happy when Jesus is talking to his own companions and they ask him what's the greatest commandment Mark 12, 29. Clear! The greatest commandment is to know, O Israel, the Lord your God is one God. And you have to love Him with all your heart, and all your mind, and all your strength. And this is no different from what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was saying, the same thing to his people. Same thing I mentioned in the lecture. This is certainly, for us, the same. So, what you see is Muslims practicing the commandments, and you see people claiming the commandments, but practicing something else. And that I have seen more converts from the Catholic Church than any other of the many sects of Christianity, and especially from the nuns, priests, and even an archbishop, and all of them are better than me. These guys and women that I see do this, they still sacrifice their whole life to get the true message of Islam. <laughs> The one thing that we can't do with this religion is we can't sugarcoat it. We can't present it to people and try, try and make it taste sweet to them. We have to present the religion the way Allah intended this religion to be presented, the way Allah intended this religion to be practiced. Uh, and that's the only way that we're going to see uh, success in our lives. And, and, and we see it now with uh, so many converts, American converts, our reverts, coming back you know, to Islam. You know, because people are studying, they're looking at, at Al-Islam. A former female priest who spent more than two decades in the Episcopal Church is now speaking out after being defrocked because she embraced another faith. It came with such clarity and such power that I could understand it is nothing else but uh, an invitation from God. In fact, she says it was Jesus himself who led her to Islam. You think Jesus led you to become a Muslim? Yes, yes. And it's helped me to, to, to respect all people more, all human beings, and that God's message is universal and it should go to everybody.
One of the things I loved and still love about Islam is that the relationship with God is direct. It's me and my Creator. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, the most merciful, the most forgiving, all powerful, unimaginable Creator, unlike anything created. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ayn Kamal. I think during this day and age, the biggest uh, misconception of Al Islam is that uh, Al Islam is a very aggressive uh, religion. Uh, it's a religion that that breeds terrorism or breeds terrorists. And I think that that's the biggest misconception that uh, anyone can have of anyone's religion. Uh, I believe that once you take the time to really look at Al Islam. For what Al Islam is, like they tell, they told us when we were coming up, never judge a book by its cover. And so, if you get past the cover and you really start to investigate and you read and you study it, study this religion or this way of life, you will find out that it is probably the most simple and beautiful way of life uh, that you can ever imagine. We worship of our Creator together, and we have a common prayer and a common language in that worship. And I just think that, you know, Subhanallah, like Allah is so wise. God is so wise. Wow, I'm so close to Allah, and I felt so, you know, I'm such a sinful person, and yet Allah invited me to His house. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no god. That there is no god worthy of worship but Allah. Worthy of worship but Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him. That Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his servant and messenger. Is his servant and messenger. I swear. I swear. There is no God to worship. There is no God to worship. Except one God. Except one God. Allah. Allah. And I swear. And I swear. Muhammad is his messenger. Muhammad is his messenger. And now, inshallah, we'll do the Arabic. I'll go slow and just repeat what you hear. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Illallah Wa Wa Ashhadu Ashhadu An Muhammad An Muhammad Rasulullah MashaAllah MashaAllah Allahu Akbar When anybody enters into Islam in sincerity 
On that point and at that time, in that place, Allah removes every single sin that they ever committed. So this means you're just like when you came forth out of your mother. It means you have no sins at all. You're like newborn. And this was the expression used in the past by other prophets explaining to people when you accept this, you'll be like newborn. So you're newborn in Islam, this means you didn't convert actually, you reverted because this is the natural state of a child when they're born as well. Innocent, without sin, and certainly, inshallah, God willing, still lots of good deeds that you have because Allah took away only the bad ones and purified all your other deeds, your actions, and now you have all of that working for you. There's another bonus that goes with this. And that is that you now have direct connect. Direct connect and you're not going to have to worry about running out of minutes or the battery going dead. Because Allah is always ready to take your dua, your petition to Him, your prayers to Him. All you have to do is ask Him in, in your heart. الحمد لله لولاه لكنا أحطاب جهنم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام الحمد لله الحمد لله اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا This day I have perfected your religion for you and have completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you as religion Al Islam. On the Day of Judgment, after all of the believers go to the Paradise, there will be some that get to sit very close to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, at his river, al Qathar. And then there will be a group of them that are denied. And I want to be amongst the group that sits close to him. And those are the people uh, that follow the way he spent his life and the way that his companions uh, spent their life. And that's the way I want to live my life. MRSA is killing more than 18,000 Americans a year, according to the CDC. More than AIDS. The doctor suspected pigs in nearby hog farms were carrying the resistant disease. He was right. MRSA has spread rapidly. First discovered in swine producing areas of the Netherlands, then Europe. This same strain of MRSA has now been found in the United States and Canada. A new study by Tara Smith, a University of Iowa epidemiologist, found that 49% of hogs tested and 45% of pig farmers she sampled carried MRSA. There's no doubt about it. Pork is bad for you. Besides MRSA, they carry trigonosis and dozens of other diseases that are downright bad for us humans. More important than all these warnings, the Bible said it first. And the swine is unclean to you, and you shall not eat of their flesh or touch their dead carcass. God's laws always prevail, don't they? Do you want to protect yourself and your family from disease and the ill effects of eating pork? Then stop and follow what God asks us to do. Don't eat pork. For GN Magazine, I'm Dave Register. Dr. Jeffrey Lane.
For those whom Islam has embraced, the greatest witness to God's unremitting, pursuing, sustaining, and guiding love is the Quran. Like a vast, magnificent ocean, it lures you deeper and deeper into its dazzling waves until you are swept into it. But instead of drowning in a sea of darkness as described above, you find yourself immersed in an ocean of divine light and mercy. الحمد لله لولاه لكنا أحطاب جهنم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله لولاه لكنا أحطاب جهنم الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام الحمد لله الحمد لله